hello guys welcome to gadgets in this video we are going to see about this device and what are the features and how you can use how to set up with your phone and how to track all the usage of electricity i'm going to explain you step by step and uh, let's see what all features are there and this is a led display it's like uh, most advanced uh, display we are using in this so crystal and uh, clear visibility will be there so let's turn on the power and let's see first of all before giving the wiring the wiring should be mandatory to follow this procedure mcb input i mean from eb meter to neutral line eb input and eb uh, eb meter output neutral line that should be going input to mcb input and mcb output should be going to our meter and our meter output you need to go take to the load so here how we can give the input to our meter in sense one this is neutral this is line this is input this is neutral this is line this is output 2 and 4 is output 1 and 3 is input you can notice l neutral and line is going to neutral is going to 1 line is going to number 3 you can notice and this is number 2 and number 4 neutral is number 2 and number 4 is the output neutral and line okay let's turn on the mcb now you can select the english menu okay so first it will uh, check all the data and uh, it will check all the um, software issues everything then after loading the program it will show you like waiting to connect to the wi-fi what you need to do just simple procedure you need to turn download the smart life app in app store or play store after app store or play store it is available on both the thing just open the app add device in, you can see this model smart thin rail it is showing here before to up to get add to show this device in your phone your phone and your network uh, your router and this phone should be connected with the same Wi-Fi then Bluetooth function and location function everything should be on then only this device will get visible to add in this app so after getting this you need to put your password of your Wi-Fi password so this the device is getting connecting with this product once it is done you can see what on all features here it will show you what is the voltage what is the amps what is the volts voltage this is over voltage protection this is over current protection and this is over power protection in sense like 26500 watts you can use this is the thing this is little uh, most advanced uh, software you can see what are the power factor what is the headset what is the voltage what is the current what is total electricity consumed what is the bill what is the power cpu temperature everything you can see here so that this is update every 60 seconds so the, what we can do we can just keep every 8 seconds okay okay then now let's give a load and uh, let's check So you can see 1590 watts and 7 amps it is consuming this is one type of display this is one type of display you can use this kind of displays three more of the displays are there in this 
can see what and all detail is there power current voltage frequency power factor okay cp temperature and date time everything is there so now let's uh, you can notice here it is also updated here how much is used how much is consumed you can notice see everything here graphs here daily how much is used monthly how much is used yearly how much is used everything to the graph you can see current graph you can see power graph you can see electrical quantity statistical graphics you can see power rate everything you can see here there is an option called set so let's come to this option and i will explain you one by one before that let's uh, turn off the load so now i have turn off the load turn off the load one second let's keep this meter aside okay i hope you can see the display in the phone set the device language you can set according to your wish and display brightness 10 you can set 3 the brightness will be get dull you can set 9 it will be bright so standby brightness like uh, after some time the standby standby brightness what uh, you need you can set here from your phone this is the beep sound this is over voltage protector you can set over voltage protector 265 270 like this according to your wish to so this is 275 i have set suppose see, you can notice to 64.4 see it is updated here like that you can set this is over voltage protection this is over current protection 60 amps 68 amps means 68 uh, amps over current protection you can set here everything next there is in over power protection this is called 626500 watts maximum you can make here 26500 watts watts okay maximum you can make here this is low voltage protection 70 75 volt this is the under voltage okay you can increase or decrease according to your wish so here we can keep 75.4 so this here switch mode switch mode means it is controlled only through the it is control like you can control through switch and you can control through your phone also normally opened means 타이밍 function and uh, countdown function will not work and your switch cannot be turned off here see you can't turn off manually it is locked only everything every function can be maintained only through this uh, app only so here what we can make no control okay this is over and control enable we have did we have given in user manual detail what are the all the features are there what are the, the settings are there everything you can go through step, step by step this is power up switch status this is like memory memory in sense like um memory in sense like if the device is in on condition so that the if the power goes off and comes on the device was in on condition so so it will automatically get turned on the output will be on condition let's see 
because we have set here as a memory status. So you can see. So now let's see we can turn off the device. Now device is in off condition. So if the power goes off and comes back again after some time, this seconds after some seconds it will go inside automatically. So if for video say video thing I am going to press OK. Okay. See the power is in off condition because the previously it was in the before the power goes the switch was in off condition so here it is remembering remembering it it's like uh, what was the previous condition before the power gets off now let's turn on and here you have all the data like screen rotate you can make data zero all the data consumed everything will be become zero here this is wi-fi reset and the system all reboot okay system factory set reset reset so here you can uh, there is an price option like price b price c everything option is there this is under is used only for the expenses you can see um, it is like if you are giving this product if you are using this product for the rent or any like uh, uh, water or anything suppose this is like you can recharge them prepaid you can recharge charge the energy like uh, you can make Fifteen, sorry, fifteen, fifteen units. Fifteen units will be charged inside, and after consumption of fifteen unit, automatically it will detect. It is it will uh, track all the thing. After the fifteen unit is consumed, the output will be automatically stopped, and uh, again the uh, they should come to you and they should uh, ask you to recharge so that uh, if you recharge from your phone it will the meter will be turned on automatically and give you the power for the rent rent people this kind of features are there so in this case we are not uh, using this prepared uh, switch prepaid switch so what what we can make we can just turn it off okay and here we have like countdown options timer options you can schedule this is like electricity price bill setting and bill this is the interfaces of the device so large fund means this will come like this so security protect means this is the display mode I hope you have uh, enjoyed the, this video.